All right, guys, these are the Govi Glide Hexa light panels. They come in at just £180. Check out the link below for the latest pricing information and all the details about these set of lights. I'm pretty excited to try this out. You guys may be familiar with this type of light setup by the Nano Leaf light panels. I reviewed the Nano Leaf many years back and I'll chuck the link in the description for that video as well. But I'm a huge fan of Govi lights. I reviewed plenty of their products. And, and you know what, I'll put a link of all of those Govi reviews that I've done in the past in the description as well, in case you guys want to check that out. Pretty excited, let's go ahead and unbox this. I wanna showcase to you guys how to set it up and how to connect it to the Govi app. Essentially, I'm gonna be putting it there on the wall behind me and I'm gonna place it just above my electric fireplace in a design that I'm still trying to figure out what is the best one to do. But the app will recommend plenty of designs that you can use to set up with the 10 light panels that come in the box here. So let's get straight into it. So you have yourself in the box the user guide. Now there's 10 panels here, all hexagon shape. There you go, this will light up. You've got yourself a very strong sticky tape there. And I really like the design of this. In case you ever wanted to take this off the wall, it comes with this additional hinge here that you can use to pull out in case you wanted to very easily take it off the wall without damaging your wall. This is something that the Govi lights do that the Nano Leaf lights don't do. And then you have the accessories box. In there you have a user manual, the power adapter, the control box in case you wanted to turn this on manually instead of using the app or voice control which is probably what I will use it most often with and finally you have yourself a spirit level to make sure you align everything correctly on the wall this is the connector to the hexagon panels here so when you do connect it you just place it like this and you make sure you align the next hexagon panel 100% correct using this adapter and then of course you have yourself the connectors themselves to daisy chain all of the 10 lights. A couple of additional sticky pads here as well just in case you mess one up and you need to reuse it to connect the hex panel to the wall. Now the first thing you should do before setting up anything on your wall that will be quite difficult to take off afterwards is to test that they all work. So there's a tutorial video that I'll also link in the description that Govi have released on how to set up these hexa panels, which are very useful and I recommend everyone to watch that first. So the first thing is to get the control box connector, plug it into each of the hexa panels where the arrow is on each of them and just to make sure that it turns on. So I'll just slot that in. There you go. And then I will turn this on and it lights up. The one thing I really like about this is that there's an illumination right behind the panel so it gets a kind of glow behind the panels onto the wall which is like an additional light source to make it really pop in wherever you're going to place this around the house. So I'm going to go ahead and check this with all of the 10 panels. Once it's working I am ready to go ahead and start setting it up on the wall behind me. Now the first step is to turn on one of the light panels with the control box connected to it and then load up the app and search for it so it connects to the app to create your design before you stick it up on the wall. Make sure you have the latest edition of the Govi app to make sure you find the hexa panels in there. To find it very quickly, it uses the code H6061 and you'll find it there. So you select this, it's picked it up very quickly as you guys can see. Now I'm going to connect to it and we will just go through the setup process which has always been very straightforward with the Govi products. So now you can create your own design by hitting the plus button around the hex uh, panels here, or you can click on recommended design and then see all the different options to give you an idea of what would look best wherever you're trying to position this. Now, because it will be above my electric fireplace there, I'm thinking about maybe a kind of a circular design with a gap in the middle and eventually I might fill the middle gap with something else on the wall to make it look even better. But let me see what they currently have. And remember, you have to select that there are 10 panels. So you get a whole wider variety of designs that you can choose from. One other thing is the connecting strips, because they are very bendable, 
you can connect this from one side of the wall and carry it over to the other side of the wall which makes it even more nicer to look at there's a few designs you can check on the Govi website that give examples of that and there's plenty of other reviews online that you can see of people doing it that way okay i am going to choose this one which feels like the most cleanest design for my studio setup here now you click on next watch the video if you need to now it shows you connect the strip and it actually tells you for the next panel which number to connect it to so on the back of the panels you'll see there's numbers one to five this one on the app is telling me to connect my primary one to number two and then of course i will use the flat side first to connect it and then move on to the next panel then you hit the next panel button and then you follow the process all along whilst you're connecting it to the wall so the next panel will tell me it will go to number three so let me go ahead and showcase you guys me doing that on the wall behind me right so the first step is i'm going to position this in the middle place the bubble level just above it so i can have it completely straight there we go and then we make sure to hold that down for about 30 seconds before we move on to the next panel. And the moment of truth is always this final piece just to make sure it aligns correctly to the edges of the final two panels based off of the tutorial and the instructions with the GoV app i'm pretty confident this is going to be perfect because these are some of the easiest and most simplest instructions to follow to set up everything perfectly for a wall light like this So there you have it guys, it looks great and I'm super happy with the way this is set up. I've seen a lot of questions online about if this one is better than the nano leaf lights and to answer that simply I would say yes. When I was setting up the nano leaf lights in my bedroom those many years ago, I did struggle. I think the instructions weren't as clear as the Govi ones, you know, with the video tutorials, the instructions on the app, it's so easy to follow and pretty much anyone, if even if you're a beginner level, can set this up anywhere you like in your house. So that's one of the main reasons why I really like the GoV lights, but one of the primary reasons is that the color scheme on this is set to RGB IC. IC standing for independent control, which basically means that you can have the individual LEDs in each panel light up a different color, giving you a rainbow effect or a very nice gradient effect across all of the light strips. Now the nano leaf light panels, they're based on RGBW and they can't do what the Govi Hexa light panels can do. Even though they might look very similar, this one, when I show you on the app some of the scenes and the effects that you can create using this, you'll understand why this one, for me personally, is much better. And when you do have RGB IC lights, generally they are quite brighter. And the one thing I really like about these panels as well, you know, the quality of them and the build of the actual panels makes it very secure, very sturdy. But more than that, they have these lights just behind the light panels that illuminate the wall slightly, which gives a nicer pop to the lights as well. So no matter what color scheme you want, where you want to set it in your house, I'm pretty sure you guys will be very happy with these lights. Let's go ahead and look at the app. So of course, this is set to a scene. If I scroll down to the bottom, and I've reviewed these in a lot of my previous Gobi products as well, you have a few category of scenes. This one is the sunset glow under the natural category. If I just cycle through some of these, so you have ocean, makes it a very nice blue gradient. Forest, obviously you get a very nice green feel to your room. 
Rainbow is probably one of the popular ones. It will just cycle through all the colors of the rainbow, really showcasing the color spectrum and the gradients that these lights can create throughout your design of your light panels. I quite like the Aurora one as well. Fire, if you just want a nice ambient mood, you know, like I've got the electric fireplace there, it kind of imitates that, it kind of matches it, which I think looks really nice. And you have some other categories, life, emotion, and funny. Plenty of scenes that you can go through. Of course, if you go to DIY, you can create your own little setup, however you'd like. If you go to color, you can select each individual light panel to be a single solid color. So here I've selected, you know, three of them to be green, three of them to be yellow, and four of them to be red. It's very simple. You select the panels on the image above, and then you can change that to whichever color. So I've selected two of the yellow ones. I'll make that blue. And it's as quick and easy as that. Music, this will actually bounce to the audio in the environment. So whether that's you speaking, if you have music in the background or you have your TV, I would say, you know, this is something that would be really good for gamers. So if you set this up near your computer or your TV, you play your console, then, you know, this will really make the environment pop if you have a lot of action things going on. But if you choose some of the other music categories, you get the option to have the colors light up as a solid color per panel by selecting the whole option. However, if you select edge, this really showcases the rainbow effect of multiple gradients per panel. And this is something that the nano leaf panels can't do. And you can see how great these actually look. Personally for me, I would always set it to scene. That's something that I'm a really big fan of. I have lots of scene effects on some of my other GoV lights, which you know really work for the types of things that I would like to see. But the possibilities are pretty much endless. However you like to create it, it's all up to you. And it's very easy to do with the GoV app. One other thing I'd like to mention is that by default, once you have set this up and it has configured into the app, it gets added to your Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant setup as well. So you can use voice control to turn this on and off as you want in the future and that's pretty much it from the app you know it does all of the things that you would expect i have the control box stuck to the side of the fireplace there so if i didn't want to use the app i can come next time and just press the button if you didn't want to use the control box that's fine you can also use voice control so that's why i believe these are one of the best light panels for your wall on the market right now so that's it guys i'm really impressed with this if you guys are happy with the way these lights look and how easy it was to set up, make sure to like this video. Take a look in the description, check out more information about the Hexa light panels on the GoV website. Anything else you guys want to know, drop a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I do plenty of lighting videos like this and I've got tech videos out every week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones coming up and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.